this hummingbird builds her nest in a world of beaks, claws, and feathers. A world scarcely intelligible to the human mind. Looking back on another year of a global pandemic, we remember that many of us found a closer relationship with the natural world. For some, nature took the form of birds. We call these people birders, and in them we can find light and also darkness. I found a translator, someone who can take us on a journey of sight, sound, and also mind. A journey into the birding zone. My name is Rachel Rhodes, and I am dating a birder. Just, oh, I don't even know where to begin. Hiking with a birder is a lot different than hiking with everyone else. <laughs> it's a lot slower. I think what I like about birding is it brings us outside and I love being outside and I love going on hikes and trail runs and walks. But sometimes what I forget is that birding is really a slow, slow walk. Like it's, it's walking and looking around and then you see something and you'll be there for like 10 or 15 minutes. I would say my stamina is not as high for how long I'll look at birds, but I certainly enjoy looking at them for a little bit. I first realized I was dating a birder about a year into our relationship. I don't even think he really knew he was a birder, <laughs> or if he did, he was like very good at hiding it. But there were probably some signs along the way. We would plan to go on a hike or something, and I was like, yeah, let's do it, I'm all for it. And then we get there and it turns out, of course, it's like also a big birding destination or some hike where he was trying to see some rare bird. Jeff would be on his phone and who's not on their phone for a while at times. And I'd be like, oh, he's probably on social media or doing something. And then I would look over and he's like on a birding app. I think it all started when we were traveling in South America for about four months and there were some really cool birds down there. Like even I thought they were cool and I'm not a birder. Um, so I thought, oh yeah, he's like really into birds, like in this context of these cool birds in South America. And then we got home and I, I forgot about the cool birds and just settled back into my city life. And I thought that would be the same for him, but man, was I wrong. <laughs> Oh, actually, oh wait, maybe it's gone now. I like to call it, that was a little bird. Big bird and then a little bird. I can maybe ID five different kinds of birds. <laughs> it's not very much, but when it happens, you get this feeling where you're like, oh yeah, I know what that is. And it kind of gives you like a little dopamine or a little kick where you're like, cool, yeah. I think during the pandemic, we all felt a little bit cooped up inside. So birding is certainly one way of getting outside. And it's, it can be in like these beautiful settings, but it can also be, you know, local. It could be your backyard. It could be in a city park. I think that's, that's the beauty of it is it is allowing us something to do right now during a time where we might otherwise just feel sort of trapped inside. And if you think this couldn't happen to you, think again. Maybe it already has. 